How can breathing increase our mental performance, focus, and mood? Brain Factory Hello and welcome to a new episode of Brain Factory, the channel that provides content you need to reach your goals, live a healthy lifestyle, and simply enjoy life. All of that prepared in simple and compact explanation videos. In today's episode, we will talk about the right way of breathing and how we can use breathing to improve our mental performance, focus, and mood. We will explain how breathing actually works and what the mechanical and chemical aspects of breathing are. We will also teach you about the right frequency of breathing. We discuss how we can control our heart rate by adjusting our breathing and show you the three best breathing techniques which can be easily integrated into your daily routine. So, what is breathing and how does this process actually work? In order to run our body and mind properly, every human needs to breathe in and out about 22,000 times per day. We breathe in to supply our body with oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. To support ourselves with the right amount of oxygen, we need to balance the right mix of oxygen and carbon dioxide in our body. We can split breathing in two different aspects the mechanical and the chemical aspect. The mechanical aspect of breathing explains the physical way of breathing. We breathe in through our mouth or nose and air gets delivered through the larynx into our lungs. In order to make this work, we need two important muscles to kind of push the air in and out of our body. The diaphragm and the intercostal muscle. The diaphragm sits below the lung and helps us to enlarge the chest capacity by contracting and flattening. When we exhale, the same muscle relaxes and pushes the air out of the lung again. The intercostal muscle sits between the ribs and helps to tighten and pull the cage while breathing. Our nerve cells send the signal of breathing from our brain to our muscles and return the information about the position of the muscles to tell the brain when to breathe in and out. If we should breathe through our stomach or through our chest is a high discussed topic but there is actually no real proof that one option is working better than the other so this actually doesn't really matter. The chemical aspect of breathing. As we already mentioned, oxygen comes into our body and carbon dioxide leaves our body. What many people actually do not know is that we need both chemicals in our body at the same time, the perfect mix, in order to supply ourselves with the right amount of oxygen. Here's how it works. Oxygen gets into our lungs and passes the alveoli on the lungs wall, the so-called sacs, to reach into our bloodstream. After the oxygen enters the bloodstream, it gets immediately bound up with hemoglobin. The hemoglobin forms a cage around the oxygen and transports it to the cells, which are in need of oxygen. And here, the carbon dioxide comes into play. To open these cages and release the oxygen for the cells, we need carbon dioxide. When we breathe out, the carbon dioxide makes its way from the bloodstream through the alveoli back into the lung and from there out of the body again. The right frequency of breathing. People in general tend to breathe in and breathe out way too often throughout the day. But why can that be wrong when you bring more oxygen into your body? The problem with breathing in and breathing out too fast is that the body has no time to deliver the oxygen to all the cells and open the hemoglobin cages with carbon dioxide if we get out all of our carbon dioxide with exhaling right after inhaling. You probably wonder now how you can find out if you breathe in the right frequency. Well, on average, it is suggested to do 12 inhales and exhales per minute. A very good way to get your body into the right breathing frequency, even if you are not actively doing this exercise, is the box breathing exercise. In this exercise, you breathe in for 5 seconds, hold your breath for 5 seconds, exhale for 5 seconds, and hold your breath again for 5 seconds. If you do this exercise once a day for 5 minutes, you will improve your breathing frequency during the whole day. And if your body will get the right amount of oxygen, you'll feel more relaxed and focused. Our next topic will be breathing and its impact on our heart rate. In general, we can say while inhaling our heart rate goes up and while exhaling our heart rate goes down. The reason for this is simple. When we inhale, our body gets prepared for the oxygen coming in, so our heart increases the blood flow. When we exhale, our blood flow calms down again and our heartbeat gets slower. 
We can use this phenomenal function of our body to control our heart rate and therefore our stress level or mood in general. A study of Andrew Huberman proved that the fastest way to reduce stress immediately and relax your body is the physiological sigh. When practicing the physiological sigh, we take a deep inhaling breath, followed by another quick inhale and a long and slow exhale. Here's the explanation why this exercise releases stress. When we inhale deep two times, we get maximum oxygen into our body and signalize our body to get prepared for a big load of oxygen so the heart rate rises. By exhaling long and slow, the body can still transfer the oxygen to the cells and at the same time reduce our heart rate drastically. The best thing about this exercise is that you do not need to take the time to do long daily breathing exercises. You can literally use this site anytime during the day, during work, even during conversations. As you can see, breathing is very powerful. If we understand the way our breathing impacts and controls our body, we can take advantage of this knowledge and use it daily to reduce stress, focus, and reach our goals. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and you are able to use and integrate the tools, techniques, and knowledge into your daily routine. Thank you for watching. We would appreciate it if you leave us a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.